Welcome back to Epic Airsoft HD. This week we're here with the top shell ejecting SR16 URX. Alright, as you saw from the intro, this is something special. It's an electric bow black gun and it also uh, ejects shell ejects, which is pretty damn neat. I've checked the magazine is empty and there's no round in the chamber, so I'm going to go ahead and take my goggles off. Yeah, pretty neat. So you've saw the blowback already. Let's have a look at some of the other features. Pretty standard for an M4, uh, it's SR16 by Knight's Armament, uh, stoner rifle with the URX uh, front end. Really nice gun, this gun comes from Japan, so it's got all the kind of Japanese quality features you'd expect uh, coming from those guys. Uh, everything from the stock to the front end, the barrel, is all extremely high quality. We'll start from the back and look at it. Stock's your standard crane stock, six position. Pretty basic stuff, but it's actually really good quality. You get a nice positive lock in there. Uh, grip again is your standard M4, M16 grip. Nothing special about that, but things get really interesting once it gets to the receiver. There's a nice uh, kind of realistic bolt simulation here, and you see it pings around out pretty damn nicely. The magazine takes a full 5.56 rounds that you put your uh, 6mm BBs inside and when you fire it, BB comes out the end and the shell comes out of the receiver. Pretty damn awesome. The gun itself functions just like the real thing. It's got a realistic working bolt catch, nice slam, positive lock there and forward assist as well to help aid the bolt pushing around into the chamber. That's pretty damn awesome. As well, when you pull back on the charging handle, you need to lock it in place with the bullet. Unfortunately that doesn't spring back, but that's fine, we can get over that. Uh, inside here, you see very, very high quality steel components inside, and I guess that's necessary for quite a violent action on here. You can feel it in the gun as well when you pull the trigger. Moving to the top and the front end of the gun here, we've got a full length rail that features the rear folding sight, it's the stoner type, and front folding sight which is really neat, it folds flat in and it's disguised as a rail as well. Nice positive lock on both and they're really good quality. Uh, on top here I've got the aim point, it's one of my favourite optics to use and I think it looks really good in this gun. It doesn't come with a gun, however you can get these from Airsoft World by clicking on the link in the description below you can see a full range of optics and scopes that they have available. Uh, the rail is the URX2 type, it's the mid length handguard it's absolutely really good quality, uh, CNC milled and in fact the whole gun is just absolutely fantastic construction. Uh, front end is your SR16 type barrel and you've got a civilian type flash hider on the end there too. So let's have a closer look at how the magazine works. Alright, so here's the magazine here, it feeds the bullets just like the real AR. So we're going to go load a couple of shells in just to show you. Uh, the shells capacity of this is 30, again, like the real steel, and uh, you only get 30 shots out of this basically. Each shell holds a single BB, and it's just simple. You push the BB in the top, and then that's it ready to be fired. So all you do is, put it in the way, right way around, and push it in the place. And you just repeat the process until your magazine's full. I'm only going to load about 10 just to show you. Uh, this probably could get tedious. This is good for mill sim players, obviously. Uh, it's as realistic as you're going to get. Uh, gas blowback is another option, but this is about, yeah, as real as it's going to get, loading the shells in. The unfortunate thing is, for normal skirmishes, you're going to have a really hard time finding these things in woodlands. You're going to have to be really patient, and uh, if you want to pick up your cartridges, then you can obviously go ahead and do that. I think I'll prefer a normal EG, but for indoor, maybe even practical Joe guns, uh, something like that, this is going to be a great little gun to have. Alright, so once your magazine is loaded, put that in your gun and you load it like you would with a real AR. Accessories here as well are also available in the Airsoft World Shop. 
you can check the links in the description below. Spare 30 shells. You also get spare magazines as well. And you can bulk buy two. There's a bag of uh, 500 shells. And you can, again, just check out the links in the description below for prices and other information. All right, I'm going to show you how this gun loads and how it fires. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to stick on some eye protection, which is a good idea. All right, magazine loads like you would any other normal ER. If there's no magazine in the gun, it dry fires. So it doesn't do anything and the bolt doesn't come back, which is pretty neat because the real thing would do the same thing. All right, we'll pull the charging handle back, lock it into place, and we'll put the magazine inside. Magazines are really tight fit, so I'm going to push the mag release button just to get it getting in there. Thanks, because the gun's brand new. Okay, and the bolt catch release, and it loads around into the chamber. You're ready to go. You also use the forward assist if you want to do the whole genuine thing. I'll fire a couple of rounds. Pretty neat. So Top Guns have been around for about just over a year now and this is the first one we've had in the UK so far. Really excited to see how it does in the range because I haven't seen any range tests that are like less than 10 feet. So let's go take this gun out in a 30 meter range and see how it does against standard AEGs. As always, on a 30 meter range here, we use the Abwood vise, really heavy vise, uh, to hold the gun in place. Put some rubber slips in there, as always again, to stop any damage to the rail or to the gun itself. What we're measuring here, guys, is the gun's accuracy and not my accuracy. I could stand and put shots down there all the time, but it's not getting the true accuracy of the gun, and that's what we're trying to show you here. We're using 0.3 gram BBs to give this gun the best kind of accuracy result we can get out on the range. So we're going to go ahead and use semi auto first. We're going to fire around seven or eight shots. All right, it's cool. Love that noise. Awesome. All right, let's go. Just steady this table. Okay, we're moving on to fully automatic now. I'm going to fire a bust of rounds at the target until the magazine's empty. About 12 rounds or something left. Okay, let's go. All right, let's have a look at the couple of targets that we shot there. I'll start off with the full auto one, even though we did that second, but here we are. Actually, it's a really nice, neat spread, considering the other con inconsistencies this gun has. Well, basically having the BB inside the shell, I would think that would cause another kind of consistency. I'm really surprised at that. Uh, got a nice little group in here, flyer up the top and to the top left as well. But that overall is pretty damn good. I'm really surprised at that. Okay, and uh, we'll move on to the semi-auto test. And again, that's a nice neat cluster. That's actually perfect. That's AEG worthy, uh, standard AEG worthy. Pretty good there. Again, flyer up top and over here, but that's forgivable. The gun's brand new, it's still got some teething issues and the hot rubber hasn't been bedded in yet. So uh, it's actually shocking uh, just how well that did. So SR-16, excellent DMR weapon. More for the Melson player than your average skirmisher. But if you're looking for something, maybe for a movie prop, uh, if you're looking to do kind of CGI type after effects stuff, this is ideal for you. Uh, I can't think of a better gun actually, other than gas blowback, but to have the shells ejecting out like it does, those slow-mo shots are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the shells are just a magnificent thing. Big fan of this, big fan of the performance, and uh, price-wise, you're talking just short of £600. That's well worth the money, considering you're getting a top, uh, well, pardon the pun there, a uh, Japanese product uh, all the way over to here in the UK. Uh, for spare shells and things, a little bit pricey, but manageable. And uh, as I say, it's just totally unique, something different to take out in the field. If you want to compare this gun to other gas blowback guns we've done in AEGs, you can click on the annotations here to take you to there. Uh, if you want to see Airsoft World, uh, all the parts and components in the gun itself that are in stock, you can click on the links in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to us guys. We do an episode every single Sunday. So if you click there, you won't miss them. And we'll see you next week.
Stop wobbling the table. All right. URX two upper. What the fuck was that? Somebody in? 